creating grids using the draw tools. When we start when we're in architecture tab and we go over to data and we click on grid. Uh, when we start it'll automatically pop us into the draw panel and it'll place us into the line command. So we can start drawing our grid and I'll, I'll pick right here and I'll start my grid and I'll go over horizontally and I can go over vertically and I can put an angle in there. If I just wanted horizontal, I can hold the shift key down and I can pick. Now, when I pull up on the screen, you notice that I'm getting it to be right above it. I'll go say at uh, uh, 20 foot. And I'll go right at 20 foot. At 20 foot. I'll pick, drag it over and I'll pick. And remember I can hold my shift key down if I want it to go straight up, but notice how it's building the grid lines going right up. It's extending them and it's automatically numbering them. Now I know they're only on one side at this point. I'm going every 20 feet on my grid and I'll go with four of them here. And then when I'm done I can hit enter, escape, and notice now that uh, I go to modify and I'll pick on one of these grids and I can check the box to have the bubble for the grid line show up. Notice they're numbering one, two, they'll automatically number them for us. So as we go they'll get put in and I can go on here and I'll turn them all on which is fairly, fairly standard. Now let's say I wanted to add one more at this point. I can go up and I can go to grid and it just finds and grabs onto it and I can go to the next one here, the 20 feet, and select and add one in. I can come over and turn on my bubble and hit escape and it's put my grid lines in. Now I can put them on an angle if I wanted um, or I can hold my shift key down if I want to control them to either a vertical or horizontal line. Now, when I pick on them here, when I say modify and I pick, notice I have 20 feet. I can come in here and change that. Let's say I want to go to 25 feet. I can hit enter and it'll automatically update. Alright, so I can just come in here and change those if needed. So I have it at 20 foot. Now to create a vertical line, I do the same thing. I'm going to go up to grid. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to pick, I'm going to go vertically, and I'm going to pick. You notice this number in number six, but typically when we go vertically, we use numbers. I mean the letters, excuse me. I'll type in the letter A and hit enter. Now, as I go over, and I'm going to go 20 feet, the rectangle that it creates in these 20 feet by 20 feet little rectangle areas is known as a bay in a structural world. Uh, those are bays. Oop, I missed that. I'll pick again. And I'll turn on my... And now if I want to zoom in here and take a look, you see that it's uh, B is automatically numbered. And if I wanted to add some later on, I can go to grid. It'll, find, it'll grab right onto it. Pull it across. I can go to my 20 feet again. Pick and I can I, gotta, I can go down and now remember I can always hold shift and it makes me only go vertical. I can pick and then I can come up and actually turn on my bubble. I can hit escape and I can create uh, rectangular grids in this fashion. Now I can also create uh, radial grids. Now, what I'm going to do with radial grids is I'm going to come over here a little bit and I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, all right, hit escape. Make sure you're going to the architecture tab. We're going over to the datum, hit grid. And now we're going to, instead of using the line, we're going to go with the start and radius arc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick a point. I'm going to drag it over. Let's say it's 100 feet even. Okay. 
and I'm going to go with a 50 foot arc and I'm going to turn both of these on and I'll hit enter. Now um, it's numbering with the next letter or the next numeral and I come in here and say well the next numeral if we went over here uh, we ended at 5 so this really should be 6 so I'll just come in here and say this is a 6 Oop. let's go to modify select on it and just say this is 6 now let's put another one in I'll go over here to grid and I'm gonna go to my arc and I'm gonna jump over here I'll click on that yeah it was hang on here oh I got it here and uh, let's see I can always fix the arc later I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna say this is a uh, hundred forty feet and I pick and I'll pick you I'll pick a radius of 70 and I'll hit enter and notice it's number seven and if I click on this I can turn the checkbox on now all I have to do is build my straight lines and I can end up with uh, forming my radial and so I'll go to grid and I'm gonna go and find my center point here all right and uh, I'm going to wait till I find my center. All right. We're going to go to snap overrides. We're going to go to centers. Ah, found the center. That was a whole lot easier. Slide out and I'll hit escape. And now I do have to go and change this to a letter. And I change this to a letter and I'll call this. Now we couldn't use A, B, or C because we already used those. We'd have to go to D now. Can't re reuse an existing now letter now and now we just go around building lines every so many angles that we want like every 15 degrees so I'll come over here grab onto that and I'll say I want it to be at um, 165 right so we'll go to 165 and I'll click and I'll hit escape and now it's automatically putting E in so we can build our radial grid pattern uh, using uh, both our start end and radius arc and our lines. Remember, numerals are, our letters are vertical and our numbers are horizontal and our squares in between are called grid bays.